Welcome back guys. Today we are talking about digestion of food in buccal cavity. In buccal cavity, saliva acts on the food and this food is converted into bolus and then it's transferred to esoph through esophagus to stomach by the peristalsis movement. The contraction and relaxation of the muscles in the esophagus is known as peristalsis movement. And this peristalsis movement goes on throughout the alimentary canal. This saliva is secreted by salivary gland and this saliva contains salivary amylase that helps in digestion of carbohydrates. The saliva is secreted by three types of three pairs of salivary glands. There are exocrine glands and this is the pyroid gland. On the opposite sides and on the cheek sides, these are the largest salivary gland. They lie on the side of the face, just below and in front of the ears. The paroid ducts, also known as tensus duct, open into vestibule opposite sides of the upper second molar tail. Viral infection of the paroid gland causing swelling and pain is the disease called mumps then you have sublingual gland this lie under the front part of the tongue the sublingual ducts also termed as ducts of ravines also open under the tongue then you have this submaxillary gland this lie on the angles of lower jaws. The submaxillary ducts, also known as Walton's duct, open under the tongue. The tongue is a muscular organ and as you know, that it is the stronger, strongest muscle of our body. This helps in mixing of saliva into food that also helps to convert into bolus. And tits, you can't see here tits, but they play a vital role in cutting down and breaking down foods. And this, all of the chewing is known as physical digestion. And this was all about the digestion of food in buccal cavity. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like it.